the, the status monitor. Here you can see the raw data from the camera. So you have here the two stereo camera, the depth image, and the orientation of the HMD. And behind you have the, the brain signals coming from the, the EG cap on the top. And here we have a, a demonstration using AR. You see the, the finger is burning. And you can, you can actually change the mode smoothly. Nicola, could you change the mode? And here we are in VR. And you can easily come back to AR. How, how do you change between the two? Yeah, just by turning the head. Oh, interesting. But the thing is, this can be done anyway, right? You could think of an uh, event, and that could change it from VR to AR. It could just be that you're too stressed, you'd come back into an augmented reality. So we can use different signals now. We have the capability to use different signals to switch. And here, for example, you can use the signal to change the color of the flame. Oh, this is quite cool. Check this out. This is what I was talking about. Is He's looking at his hands, they're on fire, and now he can modulate the color because he thinks it's too stressed. It can become snow at some point, like I told you, and now he's going to try that. Or he moves into the virtual world. <laughs> so it's, it's the different possibilities that you can get from the system. It's the input part of it. He can put me on fire, I guess. He can try, <laughs> Let's try that. There you go. So you can... Oh, well. Yeah, systematically, exactly, right? If you actually came and you could stand in front of him, but you'll try it anyway. You, you could actually try that while you're filming it if you want. Cool. All right, I'll take I'll take a turn. Yeah. I'll go ahead and turn this off and take a turn. But there you go. So yeah, there's all these things.